Stan Hayakuns, a member of the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe of Massachusetts and the operator of Native Times Coffee. When the coronavirus pandemic hit the U.S., it not only took a toll on people's mental and emotional health, but their pockets as well. There was no work, right? I was working in the oyster farm with the tribe, uh, growing oysters. There's no restaurants open, so there's no oysters being sold. You can get the whole deal. He says instead of sitting at home collecting unemployment checks, he had to start making some type of money. He started out just like a regular coffee business at the Bawa. Soon, that small coffee stand blossomed into something much bigger and on wheels. Since the truck's debut on May 27th, Hayakums has added an assortment of food to the menu, including his famous fish and chips and scallop rolls, a passion he can finally share with the rest of the world. How's it going? Most mastery men can cook. I mean, I can cook anything. I've been cooking since I was like, since I could walk. And customers are eating it up. 11 to 3 o'clock, that is, Monday through Friday, right here on Pow Wow Road. It's good. It's very good. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. And while the menu continues to grow, Hayakums will always remember Lizette Pocknett, a late member of the Mashpee Nation, who inspired it all. Born in 1886, Pocknett was taken to the Carlisle Indian Boarding School in Pennsylvania. That's when they were killing all the native kids. They were bringing them there to make them more Europeanized. But her stay was short-lived. She actually was charged with desertion. She escaped. To this day, her resilience inspires others to keep on pushing, even in the midst of a global crisis. Vision chips is my specialty. In Mashpee, I'm Shauna Spameni.